Finding the area of composite shapes isn't really anything new over what we've done in the past few lessons. It's just sort of building those things and putting those things together. A composite shape would be something like, oh, I don't know, maybe a figure of a house. Or if I have a, you know, a really quick sketch figure of a house here, I have sort of a square base and then I have a, a triangle for the roof kind of like this, this would be a composite shape because it's a shape that's comprised of a square and a triangle, like so. Oh, we'll call these two slashes because they aren't going to be the same as this one. Yeah. So to find the area of this figure, first I need the area of the square. So if we say the house is eight units tall, and then maybe this dimension down here is, oh, I don't know, uh, four or five, about five units maybe, something like that. If we say our house is 8 units tall, and this is a square, then the area of this square would be 8 squared. And then the area of the triangle is 1 half base times height, right? So we'd have our base of our triangle here, and half of that, since that base is the same as this, the base is 8. So we have 1 half of 8 times the height. And then we'd use our Pythagorean theorem here to find the height, since we know that it's 5 this way, and half of 8 or 4 this way. Yeah. Well, this looks like a 3, 4, 5 triangle to me. If it's 5 on the long side and 4 on the short side, it's going to be 3 on this side up here. It's a pretty common triangle. So this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So then we could calculate this as 1 half of 8 times 3. And then when we're done, we just add those things together. So half of 8 is 4 times 3, that's 12. And 8 squared is 64. So then the area of the entire figure would be 12 plus 64, or 76 square units. So really, all you have to do to find the area of composite shapes is just break the shape up into shapes that you recognize, and then find the area of those individual shapes, and then add it together to find the total area at the end. All right, let's take a look at the examples.